I'm so dejected because both at ourselves, that being the Saints as, as a team, uh, what occurred in the game, because, you know, that's why you never can count on uh, another team. I was worried, Christian, I told you at one time, okay, the Rams were up 17-0. to We were only up, what, 7-6? to I said, damn. I said, don't tell me uh, the Rams are going to win. The Saints won't take care of business against Atlanta. But obviously the Saints took care of business, and the Lambs did not. Now, with that being said, if you'd have told me this, this is, I'd always be encouraged when we hit the trifecta. Because this is the game that you would tell me, if we do this every game, we'll win. Like next year, we'll go undefeated. Now we got to do this. And we're talking about protecting the ball, taking it away, scoring defense. Well, we forced three-plus turnovers. No matter what else we do, on the Sean Payton, we're now 44-6. and six. Allow 20 or fewer points. You remember I told you about 92% where you could chalk that up, we got another win, allowing 20 or fewer points, committing zero turnovers. Uh, now 56 wins and six losses. But then it was all for naught because it's such an empty feeling when you're right there and you might have some kind of momentum going into the playoffs. I thought no matter if it was Drew Brees, whoever was playing quarterback, you could not have better production from the quarterback position than when you got from Taysom Hill and Trevor Simeon. You know, basically – Taysom Hill had a perfect quarterback rating. What do I mean by that when you're on 150? 153.2. Christian, he was 7-9, 107 yards. Trevor Simeon ended up having a quarterback rating almost 112. So 128 when you average it out as a team. No, uh, the quarterback play was something that I think we could have maybe shocked some people in the playoffs. But again, what it could have, should have. was so frustrating because it's so final. We can only blame ourselves. You know, we always reflect back. I remember, Christian, I know we said this on this show. This Giants game is going to come back to haunt us. You look at who you lost and how you lost. Like the first Carolina game, remember, they waxed us. That was very humbling. Uh, Jameis Winston's poorest game. Remember that Christian McCaffrey, they whooped us. The bottom line, they whooped us. Okay. I look at even the Falcons game in the Dome. We made a great comeback, but then they hit a big play. And a walk-off field goal to having you lose. But we were down 17-3 to in that game. But the Giants game, if I can recall, weren't we up by 11 points with like eight minutes left? And we lost. What? To the Giants. It's not like you're losing to Pat Mahomes and the Chiefs or Aaron Rodgers and, the, and, and Brady. Uh, 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 you know, the Packers and, and the Bucks. No, uh, Christian, that's the game that came back to bite us. And you know what? That damn uh, Giants game. And uh, listen, uh, you are what your record says, uh, says you are. And and uh, uh, basically, we are a 500 team. You know, if they wouldn't have added the additional game this year, uh, we would have finished 8-8 eight and eight and we'd have been out of the playoffs. The 49ers would have been in. So I guess it's just justice. If you look at the NFL gods, whatever, how you look at that, well, the 49ers – Based on past seasons, they they would have been in. Then the Saints went back in their way in because they had to win the game and they won it, but you still were counting on uh, someone else. If you look at uh, Sean Payton in Atlanta, uh, you know, he's won out of 15 games, he's won 11. Now think about that. You know, you want to be, okay, now we above that because it's about all about winning championships, but you talk about your rival? Well, Sean Payton in Atlanta, hostile territory, he's won 11 of 15. And they won three straight games in the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. So uh, you're talking about 50-50 yard deal. I said this before. Now it's 53-52. to 52. <laughs> And the NFL, they love this. The NFL loves what happened today. You know, the, the game's going down to the wire, and then you're tuning in. Oh, okay, it looks like the Saints are going to win. But what's going to happen in the Rams 49ers game? Then that goes into overtime. If you love football, everyone's tuning in. So the NFL love how that all occurred. Uh, look at overall, uh, Sean Payne's 22 and 10 uh, against the Falcons, whether you're talking about home or away. And uh, the one thing, Christian, I, I did say that uh, I thought the Saints would cover the spread. Uh, I didn't want to bet the under on this because the Saints and the it was 40. The over and under and the Saints and Falcons have kind of been – where it's not necessarily in the teens or, or, or low scoring. I don't know why. Just when they play each other, that does not happen. But now uh, the Falcons are 0-7, the worst in the National Football League this season, a, a, a spread uh, against the spread at home. 
So wow. they have not covered when you know covered her favorite. They're over seven. So uh, I know I helped somebody out there, but I wish I'd have been helping the Saints to get into the postseason, and that wasn't the case. Uh, uh, as I look at the team and individual performances, I mean, we finally played a game that we've done in past years. And what I mean by that on third down, are you dictating the ebb and flow of a game? Christian, you mentioned that earlier. Uh, 48 plays? You're not beating anybody. You only run 48 plays. You got, they, they average like 65, but 48 plays, that's outstanding defense. You know why? Because that means you're not converting on third down. Sustained drives. We had 71. 71 to 48 plays. Time of possession, 2-1, to one, basically. And the, the Falcons had three first play of a drive turnovers. Yes. Oh, now, now think about that. Uh, uh, okay, you're getting ready uh, to, to, to set the tone, and you're starting a drive. Christian, I'm, gl- I'm, gl- I'm glad you brought that up. So uh, I, I don't know. That had to, I mean, who else has done that this season? Uh, I'm looking at three giveaways on the first play of the drive. I'd like to see probably no other team in the NFL did that um, this year. I'd be willing to bet with right there with you. It might be one, but three. One, maybe two, but three. No, I, I would not think that. Now, uh, going back. Okay, third down. We were finally Drew Brees-like. What are you talking about? No. What I mean by this, Sean Payton and, uh, and Drew Brees. Do you know who's the number one third down offense since 2006, even after the debacle this season? Saints. Saints. Not Patriots. Night Packers, number one third down offense in the National Football League since 2006. You want to talk about a sample size is the New Orleans Saints. Well, finally, you know, Christian, we've been over 45%. Mm-hmm. We were like like low 30s. That, that's why we were struggling offensively. Well, today, guess what? We're 8 of 16, 50%. And the Falcons were only 3 of 10, 30%. That shows you the, uh, the time of possession, almost 2 to 1, basically uh, – uh, you know, uh, 39 minutes to 21 minutes uh, when you break that down. I uh, talked about the offensive plays, uh, plus three turnover margin. Now, Christian, we ended up, and I think about this, who that nation, we ended up how we started. Remember the hot start? We were five and two, and we were plus seven. I said, boy, keep trending in that direction. You know, you want to be double digit on that plus side and the turnover margin. Then we had plus seven, and then we started going down. We got down as bad as, like, we never went minus. We got us down as uh, plus one. Well, by getting plus three today, we end up plus seven where we started the beginning. That's winning football. Uh, yeah, for the season. We were plus seven like the beginning of the season in that turnover margin. I, I thought um, overall the officials, uh, I like the way the game was called, nine total penalties. Uh, I mean, I, I like that kind of game. Uh, you know, nine instead of 15 to 18 or something like that. And uh, you mentioned this earlier, and who that nation, Alvin Kamara, I thought Alvin Kamara was heading north and south. And the way our offense is structured right now, we need Alvin Kamara to have this kind of game. And what I mean by that is how is he doing as a receiver? And, uh, you know, how is he doing as a running back? Uh, uh, Christian, it wasn't even close. I I, want to say this was uh, the most carries uh, that he had as far as attempts. 30 rushing attempts. uh, You know, that's a career high. Career high of Alvin Kamara, 30 attempts, basically 4.9. So that's a five-yard average, 146 yards. He had 16 yards receiving. For Alvin Kamara to truly have an offense, uh, th- that's a great game for him. 154 total yards is great. 130-plus is very good. We need him to have that kind of contribution. Not uh, like, like last week he had like 100, okay? We can live with that, but uh, we don't have enough help. To help out Alvin Kamara, that's why he has to have 150, 130 yards uh, of total offense. Uh, I thought Taysom Hill, we're going to elaborate it more as we go on. Taysom Hill and Trevor Simeon was outstanding. Uh, I thought we got after Matt Ryan. And then you look on the defensive side, again, the bookends, Marcus Davenport and Cam Jordan was outstanding. Uh, ended up having two and a half sacks combined. Uh, Davenport, you look, three quarterback hurries led the team. Uh, Cam had a tackle for a loss also. Uh, so they came to play uh, winning football, what we expect uh, from them. We expect Cam Jordan and Marcus Davenport to dominate the tackles, and they did that today against Atlanta. It's too bad. Uh, the one thing, I don't know, we don't have a losing record, but we're not going to the postseason. That would have been pretty special to make it five seasons in a row.